Hey there, Pony fan. Welcome to another Friendship is Magic review with me, the Stupid Private. Today's episode is It Ain't Easy Being Breezy. The episode begins with Ponyville preparing to receive some very delicate guests. The Breezies, this breed of pony pixie. Drops dead if you so much as sneeze on them. Yeah, pretty much. So to make Ponyville safe to pass through on their way home, Fluttershy has to clear the town of potential hazards like loud noises, bright reflective surfaces, and winds faster than a gentle summer breeze. I assume they left the pink one duct taped to a chair in some basement. Actually, she's not the problem. It all goes wrong when Spike the Terrible, chiefest and greatest of calamities, causes a single leaf to blow through the Breezy's path, which blows a number of them off course. Fluttershy naturally soars into action and rescues the little critters, but she quickly falls into a destructive codependent relationship with the weasels. She likes the attention they give her for catering to their every whim, and they just let her go because, hey, the service is great here, right? Except this one dude, at least I think he's a dude, named Seabreeze. He spends the whole episode insisting that the Breezies get on their way before the magic portal to their pocket dimension or whatever it is closes. Trapping the Breezies in Equestria, <laughs> So he tries to fly home on his own, and gets into a fight with some bees. Don't f with bees. Seriously, don't do it. But Fluttershy rescues him, and realizes that by trying to be kind to the Breezies, she was actually doing them a disservice. But how to get them back to the Feywild in time? This looks like a job for a new toy line. So Twilight transforms the main six into Breezies. And to say thanks, Seabreeze gives Fluttershy a box key, I mean flower. This one leaves something to be desired. And weak as they are, the Breezies are towing all the bad baggage in this episode. I actually like the concept of the Breezies, basically pony fairies. In pop culture, fairies range from so much fluffy flutter to powerful and malicious tricksters. And the Breezies are squarely on the smooshy end of that spectrum. Not being competent to handle the dangers of Ponyville? Yeah, I know it's a scale thing, but that's like saying you can't handle the mean streets of the Shire. Total bull. The Breezies are fairly manipulative, but they're more like little kids that don't know that it's a bad idea to eat five gallons of ice cream, three pizzas, and a side of fries before going on the tilt-a-whirl, rather than douchey freeloaders. They're also not as well designed visually as the regular ponies. Everything about them is exaggerated, manes, tails, eyelashes, and it's just too much. Also, there's not enough immediate visual difference between the breezy boys and breezy girls. Now let's talk about the lesson, which is the best thing about the episode. It's definitely possible to be too nice, and that's a good lesson for Fluttershy. Her inherent kindness can quickly turn into enabling if she's not careful. At one time or another, we all need a good swift kick in the butt. And that's a hard job for Fluttershy to do. Where's Sailor Mars when you need her? So this is some quality character development. But you know what would have been great? If she showed the same strength and resolve that she had when she was standing up to Ironwell, instead of bawling her eyes out. Moving on to the comedy, which was lackluster, but still better. There are some genuinely funny moments, especially right at the beginning and right at the end. With Fluttershy's idea of how to cheer, and Dash's suggestions on other magical creatures that Twy could turn the team into. Also, Fluttershy does a bee dance, which was awesome. Then there's Rarity the White. As if she could fell Durin's bane. Now let's talk about keys for a second. We've already found the ones for Dash, Rarity, Pinky, and now Fluttershy. That just leaves AJ and Princess Twily. Okay, it's time to break down the good and the bad in My Little Pony, It Ain't Easy Bein' Breezy. On the good side, this was Fluttershy's moment. In order to do the right thing, she had to run against her own tendencies toward kindness and caring. There were also some funny gags. And finally, I really liked how the other five members of the main six trusted Fluttershy's judgment. On the other hand, the Breezies come off as so helpless they're actually sort of irritating. I know they're supposed to need Fluttershy's help, but there had to be a better way to get that across. And their overdesign doesn't help. Although I applaud her character development, Fluttershy tends to come across as either too needy or really saccharine in this episode. So, good concept, but poor execution means that I give My Little Pony, It Ain't Easy Bein' Breezy, 2.5 out of 5. I've seen worse toy commercials, but I've seen way better ones too. Thanks for watching, I'm The Stupid Private. Hey kids, today's show is brought to you by the letter 4 and the number potato! I'm a stupid private.